An interesting question. Acne scars, two kinds. Coloured scars, holes. Coloured scars can be either red or brown. Melanin has two pathways, a red and a brown pathway. We're used to the brown pathway. But remember, Caucasians have the redheads and the blondes. That's the red pathway. Pimples tend to get the red pathway as well as the brown pathway. The Q-switch nanosecond laser and the picosecond laser are both good lasers for coloured scars. And while both are good for removing pigmentation, the picosecond laser has fewer side effects. But the major effect of the picosecond laser is this effect called laser-induced optical breakdown or LIOB for short. And I have a little video on how it works on the skin on an acrylic block. This particular phenomena goes into the skin and it resurfaces some of the shallow, mild acne scarring. Remember the whole it helps that. So if I look at it for treatment and I have a picosecond laser, I can remove the brown PIH with lower incidence of side effects and at the same time, treat mild atrophic scars and lighten so that they're not so deep. So it's a nice two-in-one treatment. So between the older nanosecond Q-switch and the picosecond laser, I see more advantages using the picosecond laser, particularly for mild acne scars.